for five days each, young people gathered in three southwest states of Oyo, Ogon, and Lagos for the Future Project Youth Booth Camp for Leadership and Civic Engagement between June 28th to July 14th, 2017. The project, supported by Ford Foundation, was designed to increase young people's engagement in their local communities to achieve accountability. Out of a total of 1,034 applications received from the public, applications were reviewed based on their essays, and a total of 120 applicants were selected for the camp in Lagos, Oyo, and Ogun State. It's quite encouraging seeing the way that youth are coming together to actually get the country that they deserve, not the country that we are ready to give to them. The five-day intensive development program, which featured 16 top-notch facilitators from a wide range background, was successful as they shared their insight on different topics to enable participants to lead movements in their local communities as well as all the state and federal level of government. Leadership is about influencing people. You seek to influence. The curriculum of the leadership booth camp included concept of leadership, budget and budget monitoring, negotiation and conflict management, communication skills, using social media for social accountability, local government and its operations. Here is a brief of the Oyo program. You can only be a leader if there are followers. For four days that we have been learning at the feet of leaders in our community, we have gotten to know that leadership is not just about intention, it's also about the people that you wish to serve. I'm so glad I was here and I wish everyone was here too because we learned so many things that we couldn't have learned basically on our own. I have learned the necessity for me to know how the budget is being run and how I can follow it up right from the scratch. And when it comes to negotiation, the bargaining, and every other form of making a country or a nation a better place. As a leader, I never used to think about the importance of negotiating interest because I used to think it's about what you have for people and you don't have to discuss it with them. But this seminar has taught me about meeting people, hearing about their needs and trying to come to a win-win situation. It has really, really made me understand the concept of working with followers and dealing with the public at large. Here is a brief of the Lagos program. It's difficult, but you just have to keep looking at it. It's quite interesting to be here. I've gained a lot, and uh, the resource persons are intact. I am better equipped to take charge of my world and every other thing. Now I know better how to manage my social media platforms. Now I know better how to probe, how to ask questions and take charge, how to demand, and how to take action. The program so far has been awesome. All the training courses have been so inspiring. There are things that one actually needs in order to be well engaged in governance um, structure, especially in Nigeria. I've heard from experienced leaders, people who have been on the field, people who have rubbed shoulders and death and everything themselves, and now I understand how to actually lead. Here is a brief of the Ogun program. If you are not a good negotiator, there is no way you can get to any prime stage of your life. Being participant on this training is not just about talking. We were told that active citizenship by aspiring leaders like us is fully required. Coming here for me is actually a life-changing opportunity. I've been able to learn one or two things about what is going on in the political system of my country. Negotiating, conflict, and so many other things like that. On the fifth day, participants went on tour of local governments to understand the function of each department and engaged the head of departments on how their department works and asked critical questions, including checking their books. Public procurement is the acquisition of goods, works, and services with taxpayers' money. That's why we have to account for whatever we are spending on your behalf. I have a right to ask for the records of things that are going on on my situation, from my local government chairman to the persons that are representing me at different house of the assemblies and powers. Basically, you learned a lot about the operations of local government, the concept of leadership, negotiation, and basically learning how to solve problems in our society, grassroots and participation, civic leadership. You cannot be when you go to the people who are going to be your partnership. And so the very first thing that you need to be able to do as a successful leader is to know the people that you want to 
Before now, I won't have been able to say that I had been empowered or I knew how to take charge of governance and transparency at the local government level. The project achieved its aim of facilitating strategic civic dialogue and promote youth-led calls for accountability and transparency model in government, as well as starting off new projects amongst the young leaders in their community. It was amazing learning from everybody here. The way I came in to this place is not the way I'm going back. This will help me in my own initiative that I want to use to reach out to the youth in Ibadan. I intend to use all that I've learned, be it the conflict management and um, resolution skills or perhaps other leadership um, skills that have been passed across. I really want to use this to ensure that my society gets better. If youth can really key into programs and seminars like this, we would learn more and Nigeria is a better place for us to go. It is no longer the way it used to be before when the youth are told that they should be quiet, they should only be seen and not heard. And we have the youth of today taking over, you know, standing up for their country and they have to demand, they have to demand for transparency and accountability they had to demand for good governance because today as it is the world is quite different from what we used to know it to be it is now a global village where what happens in one place happens in every other place and it's the way it's going on shout out to the future project you're doing an amazing job you're standing you're standing for our youth you are educating them you're giving so much power for them to know thank you the future project for foundation for everything thank you very much